Okay, so I finished the saddlebags that I've been working on, and I'm gonna do a little video to kind of show you the features that are on them and tell you the things I was trying to accomplish by making my own. I've been looking for saddlebags that were not as big as what's out there. These are just for day rides is what I was looking for, not something for overnight trips or big bulky things that hang up behind your saddle and something I can leave on the saddle so I don't have to constantly do this taking things on and off. The big ones tend to hit your saddle racks. It's hard to put in the trailer and put on those racks and it's hard for me to lift them on when I have anything in them. Um, so I did make a bigger set and that's what I had used several times and just wasn't happy with them. So I came up with this after searching and looking and reading and deciding and I decided I wasn't really going to spare much expense with the hardware. So everything is nice and brass and made to last and the leather is really quality um, craftsman leather. So anyway, Bob is going to help do my video tonight and Bristol's our model. So I'll show you a little bit of what I have on my saddles that I was kind of thinking of, but I think most of these ties and hold downs would be good no matter what your brand of saddle. Um, so I've got these deep rings. I kind of, I hooked the ring back here on this. I have it run down here just to make it easy to tie to keep it nice and forward. And then this, I just hooked onto my back cinch. You could probably do various things with that. I left them really long. Um, all the hardware is brass. All the rivets, the grommets, the buckles. I put the grommets in for myself because I like to have my saddle strings sticking through. Another one of my pet peeves about saddlebags is that you cover up your own saddle strings and I am always hanging a jacket here or a sweatshirt or something. So it's nice to be able to tie that on. Which was another idea in my design is I didn't want the big lid that comes up this way. So this is nice and flat and you'll see from the back in a minute that this is this has no profile hardly at all um, when this is open these are flexible um, gussets so you could cinch this down really tight at the bottom or you can leave it open so you can get stuff in there the other thing is I put a pocket in every single one of the both both sides so this would fit a phone um, it would fit a compass it would fit a knife a hoof pick or something um, that you're looking for that's small because all that stuff ends up going to the bottom of your bag when you're looking for it And that's just another one of those annoying things. So they need pockets. I think pens. You can put a pen in there um, All right, so This does this slides you can pull this in and out if you wanted to cinch this down and make them really low profile If you don't really have anything in them that day um, But I know for sure I could get all my first aid stuff in here. Just my day stuff knife compass apple, meal treats, whatever. Okay. Um, okay, so this is doubled over in the back. This is um, seven to eight ounce um, smooth leather. It's unfinished, so it's just oiled nicely. But I also put a rivet there because that's another one of those stress points right at the top where you've got everything pulling apart. Um, and... Um, just there, you can get an idea of how flat they are. So if you wanted to cinch these down, these really make take up no space at all. You could probably put a book in there. Whatever you want. An art set in there. If you go in there. Um, so this was nothing I could find. I found big ones and really gaudy ones, but they're built tough. These are all polyester threads that should hold up. They're all wax that should hold up, just like people use um, saddle makers use. So it's made to last. And I think that's it. Thanks.